Same. Unapata mtu anakuja tu kwa inbox ananiuliza Ivano between hizi com, uh, jobs za commission na jobs za, za nyumba ni gani poa mimi guys according to me ile yenye naweza sema mimi nitabaki tu kwa domestic kuwaka yani nitabaki tu kama kadama juu guys wacheni niwaambie mimi i, mimi huwa nimefanya research a lot of research sana sana kwa madem yes utalipa kwa Lo watu wangu mkwaje ni so guys uh, kama una hii video acha nifanye tu rafri wacha kwanza nianze na wakenya wenye wanarudi tena Saudi Arabia ama Gulf countries zile vitu zenye unapaswa kuwa nazo ukifika pale Jomo Kenyatta International Airport ukwe unakuja Qatar unakuja Saudi unakuja Kuwait documents zenye unapaswa kuwa nazo number one ni your passport na ikuwe ni ile ya blue yani ile mpya kwa sababu zile za navy blue azitumiki kabisa kabisa document number two, lazima ukwe na uh, co- certificate ya covid lakini nowadays they are not even considering a uh, document number three, lazima ukwe na air ticket lazima uonyeshane ticket yako haya document number four, lazima ukwe na kitu inaitwa re- reentry visa re reentry visa aya wacha tena turudi gulf turudi gulf kama unaenda kenya umemaliza contract yako my friend usitikie kurudi kwa ofisi wakati ambao uko kwa mwajiri wako umemaliza two years vizuri na mwarabu anakuambia nataka kukurudisha kwa ofisi ukatae kabisa mambo yako na ofisi imeisha hata ukiangalia kwa contract yako u, mwajiri anaambiwa hapo kwa contract yako wakati ambao unamaliza contract akulipie ticket uende nyumbani zako kwa hivyo wakati ambao unarudishwa kwa ofisi ujue ofisi ya wata kulipia ticket na maybe unaweza unaweza rudishwa maybe ulikuwa umalize nini contract yako mwezi wa sita na we ukakaa kwa hiyo nyumba mpaka mwezi wa saba. wakati ambao unakaa mpaka mwezi wa saba, kumbuka ushavuncha sheria kwa sababu contract ilikuwa inaisha mwezi wa sita na we uka extend bila kuambia ofisi yako kwa hivyo hapo utakuwa umejiingiza kwenye shimo tafadhali so mambo yako na ofisi itakuwa imeisha tafadhali ambia mwajiri wako akulipie tiketi yako uende kwenu zenu nyumbani Aya kuna watu wengine wananiuliza kama ni vizuri kukuja direct after umemaliza tu years uh, kwa hiyo nyumba maybe kama uliona hiyo nyumba ni nzuri na ungetaka kurudi kwa hiyo nyumba the answer is yes unaweza kuja direct depending with the relationship yenye mlikuwa na hao mabosu wako okay so kama walikuwa wazuri afadhali shetani mwenye unajua kuliko malaika mwenye ujui ni vizuri tu kurudi kwa hiyo nyumba but kama nyinyi mko na opinion zingine mnaweza zisema hapa kwa comment section remember hii channel tulisema ni yetu sisi wote ya kuchanuana si ndio na guys before we go for kindly make sure ume subscribe like turn on the no- notification bell so that each time we upload a new video you will be notified about our videos yeah and again guys uh, wakati ambao unarudi kwa nyumba ya mwarabu for the second contract eh, uh, hata before urudi kwa nyumba ya mwarabu niliwaambia kwa ukiangalia kwa contract yako kuna mali kumeandikwa live with pay that is kama uko 100% unarudi kwa hiyo nyumba ya mwarabu after umetoka vacation hakikisha mwarabu wako anakulipa zile masiku zenye utaenda kukaa Kenya imeandikwa kwa contract na mwarabu anajifanyanga mjinga usipomwambia ujue hata kulipa utaenda Kenya miezi mbili ukae miezi mbili na hizo miezi mbili hata kulipa alafu guys again before utoke kwa nyumba 
nyumba ya Mwarabu kama umemaliza contract ni first contract umemaliza contract yako vizuri hakikisha ukienda nyumbani kama uliona huyo Mwarabu ni mzuri na ungetaka kurudi kwa hiyo nyumba hakikisha before utoke kwa hiyo nyumba mumeelewana mshahara mshahara mwenye wenye atakuwa anakulipa after umerudi for the second uh, contract na kuna wakati kuna watu wengine wa Kenya wengine ni waoga wanasema oh mimi siwezi rudi tena direct kwa hiyo nyumba ya Mwarabu kumbuka wakati ambao una unaambia Mwarabu ungetaka kurinyu kutoka kwa ofisi ofisi maybe itaenda iseme ukuo unapewa 1100 kama ulikuwa unapewa 900 lakini kama utaenda direct kuna ile agreement inakuanga yako na ya ofisi unaenda tu mwajiri wako ana, anaandika agreement letter na na ofisi lazima ione hiyo agreement letter na isign yani in case of anything wakuwe wako wako capable unaelewa so sio lazima uende uende nini urudi tena kwa ofisi kama unataka kurudi second time wewe elewana tu mshahara kwa sababu unaweza rudi kwa, kwa ofisi ofisi waseme ulipo 1100 lakini kama ingekuwa wewe na boss wako mkae chini muelewane boss wako angekwambia ni 15 ama kwambie ni 14 unaona lakini kwa sababu ulienda kwa ofisi remember hakuna otherwise eh? kwa sababu ofisi itabidi ni kama inakuuza tena Unaona? So Mwarabu atatoa pesa mingi lakini atakulipa pesa kidogo. Lakini wakati ambao una renew, yani hautaki kurudi tena kwa hiyo ofisi, unakuja tu direct. Ofisi haitalipa pesa pesa yeyote na hapo ndio sasa ofisi uh, uh, ah sorry, mwajiri wako hata nini atalipa atalipa pesa yeyote kwa ofisi kama unakuja direct mara ya pili na hapo ndio utapata amekuongezea pesa pesa ya yani yenye iko afadhali sijui kama mnanielewa guys alafu guys kitu kingine kuna watu wananiuliza uh, uh, Ivano uh, easy bags ze, za baggage za luggage zenye naona watu wakinunua either tatu ama tano watu wananunua wapi hizo hmm? bags unanunua kwa app inaitwa noon unanunua kwa kuna wa, za 179 kuna za 160 kuna za 300 kuna za 200 kuna kama ni za plastic kama ni za ni za vitambaa zenye unataka ziko hapo zote kuna wengine ambao wananiambia ivano mimi wa, waajiri wangu wa wawezi kunipeleka shopping nitavaa nitavaa uniform nikienda nyumbani hapa anafanya hivi kuna app inaitwa shein unaingia tu kwa shein unaonyesha mwajiri wako zile tunataka alafu anakuodea from there and she ain it is very uh, cheap ni very cheap unaweza nunua bangles unaweza nunua necklaces earrings eh? kama ni weave kama ni styling gel at least ukienda Kenya kama unaweza nunua brown dry unaweza nunua ma uh, straightener eh? kama we ni mtu wa kitambi niliona kuna mpaka ma sweat pants eh? una ukienda nyumbani unaficha kitambi niliona kuna shoes eh? kama ni high heel kama ni boots eh? kama ni flat shoes yani kuna vitu mingi sana hapo so guys that is why i'm here ni wachanue na nimesema muendelee na kusubscribe kindly guys subscribe and share and turn on the notification bell kuna video nyingine nimefanya ya je unaweza rudi uh, Kenya kama ujamaliza miaka mbili go and watch that video iko na a lot of comparison comparison actually it is the latest video go and watch that video guys itawasaidia alafu guys wacheni niwaambie kitu kingine wakati ambao unafua nguo za mwarabu na maybe sana sana pesa unapatanga kwa hizi madobs za white ama maybe kwa trousers za wanaume guys unaweza pata hapo 50 bob unaweza pata 100 bob unaweza pata 200 ama 500 my friend let me tell you something ukipata pesa tafadhali Usione kama ati Mwarabu ajui. Mwarabu anakuanga amejua pesa yake iko mahali fulani na anataka kuona wewe ni mtu mzuri ama wewe ni mtu mbaya. Sana sana kama wewe ni jadid, huwa wanakutega sana sana na pesa. Wanaweza hata achilia mapesa mingi chini ya chini ya chini ya 
chini ya kiti ama chini ya meza waone kama utachukua ama utawarudishia kwa hivyo guys ukipatana na pesa kwa nyumba ya mwarabu tafadhali as long as sio zako we rudishia okota upe mwarabu umwambie umezitoa mahali fulani kwa sababu u, yani tutosheke na kile kidogo ambacho kitatu, ki wanatupea kwa sababu the moment unaokota hizo pesa ukishaziokota uh, mwarabu anakuwa na trust anakuwa na trust na wewe sijui kama mnanielewa ya yeah, so guys at least you are learning something ndio maana nawaambia muendelee kusubscribe and share this video with your friends kama uko kwa ma groups you can share the, the video kwa hizo ma groups na tafadhali guys eh isifikie mahali tusikie ati umejirecord ukatuma hiyo hiyo video yako kwa social media usijaribu Usicheke cheke na waititu, usicheke cheke na vijana wa hiyo nyumba. Ukiwaekea stone face watakuogopa. Hmm? Wacheni kucheza na hawa watu. Don't be cheap, eh? Alafu guys, kama ni kukemboi, before ukemboi, tafadhali naomba ujiite kwa mkutano na ujue wakati ambao una kemboi, uke uko nje kuna kuanga bado na bills. Yes, utakemboi kwa sababu makemboi wanalipwa pesa mingi. Lakini guys, listen, uko nje kuna kulipa sijui bills za maji, una, utalipa nyumba, utaenda ulipe wifi, utalipa a lot of things guys. Kwa hivyo uta, utapata hata unabaki na less than ile pesa yenye ulikuwa unapata ukiwa kwa contract another thing guys yenye ningetaka tuongeleleni easy jobs za commission sana sana sisi madem unapata mtu anakuja tu kwa inbox ananiuliza ivano between easy com, uh, jobs za commission na jobs za, za nyumba ni gani poa mimi guys according to me ile yenye naweza sema mimi nitabaki tu kwa domestic kuwaka yani nitabaki tu kama kadama juu guys wacheni niwaambie mimi mimi huwa nimefanya research a lot of research sana sana kwa madem yes utalipa commission ya 150 for you to get a security job depending with the agency and the company utalipa maybe 150 130 120 ama 100 eh? for security ama maybe for driver job ama maybe for barista's job ama maybe eh? for bouncer eh, yani call them hmm? Lakini wakati ambao unalipa hiyo commission ya 150 utaenda upate pale maybe unalipwa 1200. Mimi nimefanya utafiti na nikaambiwa salary ya ma security guard not even ladies but for the males walai utawahurumia. Utaenda pale maybe kama wewe ni dem utakuwa unalipwa 1200. 1200 utapata uh, maybe wamekwambia watakuwa wanaku provide maybe housing na tuseme tu accommodation na transport lakini mambo ya mambo ya food mambo ya wifi mambo ya shopping it's a you so utapata utalipwa 1200 lakini utakuwa unatumia karibu 700 ama 500 ama 300 maisha gulf ni expensive guys especially kikuja time ya food eh. kuna kulip, yani kuna n- nasikia hata wengine wanaambiwa walipie ku, nini kuosha nguo na washing machine hmm? so guys mimi i would prefer uh, easy jobs zenye azina commission like kama wacha nikae tu kazi ya ukadama ju at least ukipata ukipata 15 tuseme tu kama na tuseme tu unalipwa 15 kama we ni kadama unapata unapewa chakula unapewa shopping unapewa wifi kama ni transport iko included yani you are auna expenses kama ni kutuma unatuma 2500 yako yote lakini kama uko kazi zingine kama hizo za kisecurity si unaona at least kuna changamoto za, za expenses za ku save eh? lakini guys comment at the comment section let me know what you think at the comment section eh? yeah don't forget to share like subscribe and turn on the notification bell and guys wacheni tuongezee tuongezee hizo zingine hapo chini at least tuzidi kuchanua wa Kenya wenzetu and guys wacheni tumalizia hapo yeah bye bye for now see you in the next video